But what the hell is a geomythologist? Well, a geomythologist, it, now that is now becoming a recognized scientific discipline. And what that is, is basically scouring ancient documents and ancient records and accounts, could be mythology, legends, whatever, to get insight into geological events and geological change. And we're gonna pull up some examples while we're here, so, you know, to, to show, you know, examples. And I was talking to Kimball before, uh, before we started the show here, and I mentioned, the, you know, the discovery of Troy. Now, Troy, there was the famous Trojan War that happened about 3,000 years ago, and this is a good example of the, 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 uh, the efficacy of geomythology, is that Schliemann, who was the archaeologist who discovered the lost city of Troy, when everybody else, the establishment, believed it was purely just a myth, he actually used clues that he got from reading Homer and the myths and stuff, and he went and found the ruins of Troy, and and it was accepted. So that was kind of like, okay, maybe there's merit to looking at some of these ancient traditions. And since then, it's kind of evolved into a whole sub-discipline of geological research in that a lot of these ancient accounts can actually provide very important insight and clues and information into ancient geological events.